Will Shangela win Dancing with the Stars? Which Hollywood actress stuck her foot in her mouth with anti-LGBTQ remarks? Which drag queen wants to be Willow Pill's toilet? Find out this week in our first episode of the Weekly Tea. All the tea that's fit to sip. First, we have a breaking headline as five people were killed and 18 others were injured in a shooting at LGBTQ nightclub Club Q in Colorado Springs close to midnight, Colorado. The venue said it was devastated by the senseless attack on our community and described it as a hate attack. Club Q, located on North Academy Boulevard, features a live DJ and drag show on Saturday nights. Our prayers and thoughts are with all the victims and their families and friends, the club said in a statement posted on Facebook. We thank the quick reactions of heroic customers that subdued the gunman and ended this hate attack. Will Shangela win Dancing with the Stars? Everything's coming up Shangela this week as she made it to the Dancing with the Stars finale and received support from Lady Gaga. Gaga posted two Instagram stories supporting and asking people to vote for Shangela. The drag performer was also a guest on Live with Kelly and Ryan. Visibility matters. And to be as a representative for my LGBTQ plus community right there in the ballroom and turning it out now in the finals. Well, good luck. This week hasn't been without controversy as Disney posted a promo trailer for the finale with all the finalists, except Shangela. Twitter immediately dragged Disney and the trailer was taken down. Dancing with the Stars, co-hosted by Tyra Banks and Alfonso Ribeiro, airs Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on Disney+. Episodes will be available to stream an hour after their original airing. Shangela will also be starring in We're Here, Season 3 starting Friday, November 25th with Bob the Drag Queen and Eureka. The Senate passes the Respect for Marriage Act. The Senate this week passed the Respect for Marriage Act, which repeals the Defense of Marriage Act and codifies the right to gay marriage as the law of the land. The Supreme Court in its overturning of Roe v. Wade recently included language that several past cases may need to be reviewed, including the 2015 Obergefell decision which legalized gay marriage. In response, the U.S. House passed the Respect for Marriage Act, or H.R. 8404. The law faced a more difficult path in the Senate due to needing 60 votes to overcome a filibuster. Republican supporters were unable to get enough votes prior to the election to pass the law. Senators added in some protections for religious faiths that do not support gay marriage and passed the law earlier this week on a vote of 62 to 37. The addition of religious liberties brought support even from such groups as the LDS Church. Religious liberties included in the law include the right for nonprofit churches to not officiate or host gay marriages. Christian colleges and summer camps can also refuse the use of their facilities. Churches and organizations that are considered for profit are not covered. The law requires all states to consider valid marriages from other states and allows the attorney general to sue state officials who attempt to deny that right. Which Hollywood actress stuck her foot in her mouth with anti-LGBTQ remarks? Full and Fuller House star Candace Cameron Burr has gotten herself into some hot water this week after announcing plans to leave the Hallmark Channel for her own Christian movie network to focus on traditional marriage. The star has previously starred in many projects on the Hallmark Channel, which features more diverse and inclusive content. Glad has denounced her comments as dangerous and creates a divide where LGBTQ people are considered separate from Christians even though many Christian followers are LGBTQ. Burr released a statement saying in part, It absolutely breaks my heart that anyone would ever think I intentionally would want to offend and hurt anyone, she says in a statement to People, notably not heartbroken that she may have actually offended and hurt anyone. It saddens me that the media is often seeking to divide us, even around a subject as comforting and merry as Christmas movies. But, given the toxic climate in our culture right now, I shouldn't be surprised. We need Christmas more than ever. Find out which drag queen wants to be Willow Pill's toilet in our social media post of the week. Which drag queen wants to be Willow Pill's toilet? Dia Betty does. Responding to this photo, Dia Betty said, I've never wanted to be a toilet so bad in my life. Willow replied, Even better, you can be the paper. To which Dia Betty said, If it's single ply, I'm in.
That's all our time for the weekly tea. We'll see you next week and expect another new series coming out. The War on Drag.